Hello, so this is uh, the second in a two-part tutorial where we're going to be looking at converting between binary and deanery numbers and how to do this in Excel. In the first part of the tutorial we explained how to convert from binary into deanery and in this part we will do the reverse calculation. Um, and So open up the old uh, spreadsheet and click yourself a new sheet if you don't have one already by clicking the insert sheet button next there and name the sheet deanery to binary. Um, some people often question why do I call it deanery. Well, deanery um, is base 10. Um, some people like to call it decimal to binary. Um, I prefer deanery because it means it's a whole number. Um, and so the first thing you want to do is create a space to enter the deanery number in. And so I'm going to type in deanery a colon and then I'm just going to put a little border around the outside of the square where you're expecting to type it in. Now we're going to be using the division remainder method um, and this is of the like that you divide the number by two and write down the remainder each time. So I'm going to have the number up here, I'll have the binary number here um, and and underneath I'm going to do the working. So I'm just going to do this by hand. So just say I had the number 34 and I was to divide that by 2 I'd get remainder 0 and the number that I'd be left with would be 17. Um, however if I divided 17 by 2 I'd have 1 left over and the number that I'd be left with would be 8. Um, if I divided 8 by 2 I'd get 0 left over and I'd have 4 4 by 2, I'd get 0 left over, and I'd get 2. 2 by 2, I'd get 0 left over, and I'd have 1. And then 1 by 2, um, I'd have 1 left over. And then we could say that that would be... It's a bit complicated, that one. We'll call that a half. And so, so this part here is the whole number part of the division. And this number here is the remainder. And then you'll notice that if I was to write this out as binary would equal 34 and I'm just going to show you that so that's 1 0 0 0 1 0 we'll go back to the binary to deanery that was 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 that was the number that was typed in and you'll see that that's 34 so if you look here what I need to do is recreate this process for any number um, so first of all what I'm going to do is I will set that one there to equal that one divided by 2 and then this one here will equal that one there divided by 2 and enter and then I'll copy replicate this down you'll see that a problem quickly emerges is that I only have the I only want the whole number part of the division and so in order to deal with that I just need to show my formula bar, which isn't showing now. I need to go equals int brackets and then that divided by 2. And that will get the whole number part, I believe. Um, and I can drag that down and it will remain as it was before. This side here, however, needs to be the, um, needs to give me the remainder. And so here, I'm going to go equals. And the function to get a remainder is, is known as mod. I click brackets. This is the number that you want to divide, and that's the divider. And the function will return a remainder. And so here's the number I want to divide. The amount, the amount I want to divide it by is 2, and that function there equals mod d5, comma 2, is the remainder. So I click enter, and that's 0. Now I'm going to type it in again for the next one down. Um, and this one should, and then I'll copy replicate this one into the other places. So equals mod brackets this number here is actually what I'm going to divide I'm going to divide it by 2 and I'm going to write the remainder and then I'm going to copy replicate that all the way down to the bottom you'll note that it stays the same and then finally I need to get um, that number there into this box here Hmm, which gives me a bit of a problem. 
I'm thinking I probably can't concatenate it together. Or maybe I can. So if I write equals, concatenate is the um, computer science word for when you join two strings together. So concatenate, and it wants the text one, text two. So the first one is going to be this one, and then 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 this one. You can see there's going to be a problem there because if this gets too big, it won't write it correctly. So I click enter, and that's given me the number in the correct order. However, if I was to type in, say, the number 255 and enter, now it's come out as really mad because it hasn't given it enough room to get down there. And also, I've noted that there's a problem that I didn't put the int on the first one. So going back, first of all, I'll need to make this, instead of divide it by 2 here, it's going to have to be an int divide that by 2. So that gives the whole number. And that solved that problem. But then equally, I've still got only 6. And I know that there's 8 ones in there. And that's because it doesn't go down all the way. So if I extend this sort of indefinitely, um, and then I should be able to maybe I'll delete those, clear them even. And then this here should give me the right amount for any number of numbers. Let's just try that again. One, two, eight, enter. Now one, two, eight is giving me all noughts. The one down there, and that's because it's not concatenating the correct numbers on the bottom. So here, I'm going to write equals concatenate again, brackets. I want to concatenate, see if it concatenates a range. If it concatenates that. Let's see. No, it doesn't like that. So I'm going to try that again equals concatenate. Brackets and it wants this one, comma, 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 this one. Brackets and that should um, give all of the values. So going back again, click enter. That's correct. One two eight. Let's look at another common binary number which we see quite a lot in internet addresses, which is one nine two because that's in the range of private IP addresses. In here we've got one and one, that's correct, and it's the correct numbers of ones and noughts. Absolutely excellent. So I'm just going to go and um, have a look at these formulas that I typed in. Um, here we go. And then click OK. So I'm not actually seeing the formulas there, so I'm going to go File, Preferences, and just show the formulas by default. View, Show Formulas. Okay, so what we've got here is this is all the formulas that I used in this spreadsheet. So the first one is this looked at this one here and divided it by 2. Then all the ones below looked at just the one above, and as I copy replicated them down, um, they sort of they updated themselves. And then the mod function takes the number that's in D5, divides it by 2 and returns um, the remainder. And then finally, once we've got all the remainders in the correct order, we use the concatenate function to put them all into the order that we see. We want to see them on the screen. Um, so going back from that, so preferences, view, and show formulas. And I'm going to get rid of show grid lines as well because I want to make it look nice now. And then this area here, I'd like to... Um, just make white so that we can't see it and I'm going to put a nice big black border around the outside here so that's under there so it all looks quite consistent and now so we've got two um, we've got two sections the one is convert binary into a deanery and the second one is convert the deanery into the binary now the astute among you will know that there is a formula that's um, there's a formula within um, Excel that's equals bin to dec, um, and you can use that to uh, straight away convert from binary without doing the maths. This is somewhat of an academic exercise, um, as in showing you how to work it out. 
So if you click enter there, it should go back. And there's also deck to bin and bin to hex and hex to bin and hex to deck, etc. So um, there's something for you to do. So the rest of this exercise that I'd like you to do independently requires you to extend this not just to make a binary to deanery converter and a deanery to binary, but also make a deanery to hex converter, a hex to deanery, a binary to hex, and a hex to binary converter. So that's six converters in total, including the two that we've done today. And when you've done that, you can submit your work into the uh, assignments folder. So when with it's completed, I'm just going to save it. And that's the work done for today.